Welcome to U.S. Naval Station Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. Known as the Pearl of the Antilles, Dodia has been educating the children of service members here for nearly 90 years. And in that time, our teachers have been among the fortunate few to experience this beautiful and unique location in ways few others have. There are a lot of really interesting things to do here, from fishing and diving, snorkeling, and paddleboarding, canoeing, kayaking, so there's lots of outdoor things to do. I love to be outdoors, I love to be in the water. Um, I've Snorkeling is my favorite hobby now, and I'm in the middle of getting my scuba certification, and it just, there's so many outdoor opportunities here. Not only just that revolve around the water, but there's soccer and softball and all the things that just being affiliated with the military have to offer. So in that respect, I could see a young person being really happy because there are just so many activities. For families with young kids, there are sports teams and clubs and they're only a couple miles away. A lot of activities that you could get involved in is just like finding out where they are. You can go to the gym. The gym is now open 24-7, which is unbelievable, nice facilities. You could rent a boat for $60 and fish all night. There's something for everybody. If that's not your thing, you know, there's, there's free movies every night. Uh, there's bowling and, and there's, there's just a lot of, lot of things to do. You just have to commit yourself to, to going out and doing them. And if you decide you want to go out and do things, you'll, you'll never run out of things to do. One of the things that I was pleasantly surprised about coming down here was the quality of the housing. I think we have nice housing for everybody. Oh, housing is awesome. It's like going to a new subdivision in the States, and then you stay there, free. Because we're living on base, by necessity, there is no off base for American service members here in Cuba. Um, we are really engaging with the families of our students and our neighbors and our friends. Here you got a unique opportunity to really be in an environment where you're immersed with your coworkers and your students, and you develop a sense of community and understanding for this, everybody in a way you wouldn't otherwise. They become your second family. So the kids here, the small class sizes, even the teachers, we get together, we have our own small social events, and it's a small town feeling. Everyone knows everyone. I, I just feel like it's a really safe community. You can know that your kids are gonna go to the beach or to the movies, and there's just not gonna be a lot of bad influences out there for them to get into trouble with. As a kid, a kid here, I'm safe, I'm secure, there's no fighting, there's no gains. I'm happy. <laughs> we don't even have to lock our doors. One thing I always tell people when they come, before they come here, it's like summer every day here. It really is summer every day. If they just want to walk, it's hot and it's sunny uh, pretty much every day. Once in a while, we get what we call EML, Environmental Morale Leave, where you could leave the base and go to the States or anywhere the uh, military planes have destinations to. And uh, we take advantage of that. You get your two EMLs if you're a teacher. You get your rat travel every year, so that's a benefit. And you can go space A. You just won't be at the top of the list if you have to go. We have a lot of really interesting things here. Um, so a lot of animals that don't exist in other parts of the world, um, and don't exist in other parts of Cuba. The, the local nationals uh, celebrating the Independence Day of, uh, the for the Philippines, you know, and experience that culture. And also the Jamaicans as well. And that's something that it just broadens your mind and your horizons. With all there is to do at U.S. Naval Station Guantanamo Bay, Dodia remains focused on our mission of providing a world-class education to our military children. That's why Guantanamo Bay is home to some of our most dedicated teachers. And in 2021, we'll be opening our newest 21st century school. If people get PCS orders, one of the first things they'll ask, how's the school there? Um, and uh, it means a lot to have this new facility, uh, you know, which is the baseline for a, for a good school anywhere. Our school is a unit school, so we have all grade levels from uh, Sure Start, which is very, very similar to pre-kindergarten, all the way up to grade 12. Having a quality um, um, teacher base is extraordinarily important to us um, and um, they've really done a great job. 
Um, there was a science class that did the life cycle of mangroves, so they could take the canoes out and see our mangroves and study them firsthand. We have reef fish that don't exist anywhere else here. So it's a really unique opportunity for teachers to obviously follow the Dodds curriculum, but really enhance that with a lot of really interesting um, natural resources and different opportunities here. While there certainly are many exciting opportunities and benefits to teaching in Guantanamo Bay, there are some unique challenges as well. Living in Cuba is a little bit inconvenient. The two-week delay between order and delivery here in Guantanamo Bay is more difficult. Uh, it's more difficult to try to help kids find a college that they're going to be happy with because they're so far away or meet with a recruiter because we don't have one here and a lot of our kids entertain the idea of joining the service when they graduate. The internet sometimes is difficult, so that makes it hard. And even little things like testing, we're, we're scheduled to give the SAT, and you know, you have to worry, is, it, is the test gonna get here in time on the barge? <laughs> because we are a restricted base, the biggest challenge is arranging to be on and off island or having visitors come visit you on island. There's limited number of flights that come in, limitation on when the flights are and whether or not you can get on them. It's not impossible, but yes, there is more challenge getting on and off the space, and you're not going to go away for a three-day weekend unless you plan ahead. But then, you know, that's going to take more days of leave. If you're a person that has all these options, you know, like whether in the States or elsewhere, all the restaurants, all the outlets, and all the things that you can do, it would be a big change here but you gotta have an open mind, you got to. I like to eat out, but we have the Bayview restaurant, which is pretty nice, it overlooks the ocean. It's great to sit there in the environment and watch the water. Um, we have a few eateries on base. You have the fast food or the major chain restaurants here, but uh, we learn to cook. I think this community is an amazing community to be a part of, and I think once you have lived here, because it is so unique, you're kind of part of a small club. So if you're the person that enjoys sort of that um, uh, small, small community, um, a safe place to live, a um, lot of sort of different things to do, if you're athletic, if you enjoy outdoor things, this is a great place.